Welcome to Pins and Things. Today, we're going to be making a little girl's bunny costume. Yay! We are gonna start by making our tutu. I have some tool that's already in the small strips, maybe eight inches long. I'm just gonna start by wrapping my 22 inch piece of cardboard with the tool. To keep it in place while I'm wrapping it, I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of tape on the end to kind of keep it in the right place. And I'm not trying to stretch it out because it can stretch kind of easily. I don't really wanna stretch it. I just wanna keep it the same length. And I'm gonna do this with the whole roll. Next thing we're gonna do is chop at each end. This will make them, like I said, the cardboard is 22 inches long, so that will make this each strip 22 inches long. Again, this is a no-sew tutu, so we're actually using a little pink headband. And these you can find all over the place. You can get them at Walmart, you can get them at the dollar store, you can get them everywhere, craft stores, wherever you need them. So this will fit around her waist and it's nice and stretchy. So I have a book now and I just have stretched it over the book. Now we have all of our strips of tutu ready to go. First thing we're gonna do is take a strip, fold it in half, we're gonna push it through the hole, find our loop, pull the rest of it through and pull it tight. We're gonna do that a lot. Isn't this the cutest book you ever did see? <laughs> it's done. So this has two rows. I just decided to only do the two because I think that's plenty fluffy. If we do much more than that, we're not gonna be able to see her, that's what. <laughs> I only used about one and a half, a little bit more than one and a half of these rolls of tool that I used. So one and a half is really, get two. You know, you'll have some left over or whatever. Look at this stuff. Isn't it me? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? <laughs> Can't even see you guys. We're gonna make the bunny tail. And all you're gonna need is some fluffy white yarn, scissors, and your hand. So I have this. I'm just gonna stretch it. I tied it in a little loop and I'm gonna put it over my hand and I'm just gonna take the yarn and put it over my hand over and over and over and over. Alrighty. Let's snip it right there. I'm gonna find the middle here. So basically what you do to make a little bow out of yarn. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the yarn in the middle. And this is hard because it's all the same color so you really need to pay attention. I'm gonna take this tie knot and I'm gonna pull it as tight as I can. I'm gonna do a square knot too. I'm now gonna take my scissors and go through the loops and just go ahead and cut them. That's gonna give us our fluff. A fluff or puff. There we go, here's our fluffy bunny bot. It's snowy! That's so snowy. So I have my tutu, and if you'll notice, I left these two strands longer than the others. And now I have found the seam on the tutu, and what I'm gonna do is on the very bottom, closer to the, where the tool is, I'm just gonna poke it through, and poke the other one through, and we're just flip it to the other side. I'm just gonna tie a knot. And then it will be easily removable too if you wanna just be able to have a cute little tutu for your kids to play with. For the bunny ears, which is the next thing we're gonna do, I have a little simple white headband and I've got some pipe cleaners. We're gonna work on the ear. So I've got three pipe cleaners. I'm gonna just twist them together at the top and then I'm just gonna braid them. And it's just gonna be a really loose braid just in order to hold it together, give it a little bit more stability. And I'm twisting them together at the end just like I did at the top. So we're gonna make two of those. Now we're gonna twist them both together at the top. Ta-da! The beginnings of our year. Now I'm using some of the tool that I have left over from the rest of the costume and I'm just folding it over. So this is being doubled over here. So next I'm going to place my ear on top of the tool just how I want it and cut around it. Ta-da! The shape of our ear is ready. I'm actually gonna use my lace and I want the frilly side to be on the inside because I think that that's gonna give it a lot more of the decoration that I want. We're gonna start gluing our lace down on top of the tool with the hot glue gun. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. So it's getting on my table, but this is kind of my crafting table. I don't really care that much. It scrapes off really easily. If you do care though, you can do it over a plate. Now I'm just gonna trim this side here. Now we're gonna do the other side. This is adorable. For the ear, the only thing I really don't like at this point is the pipe cleaner. I think it needs a little bit more pizzazz. So 
We're gonna take our fluffy yarn and we're just gonna start covering the entire ear. Glue it down right at the bottom and that way we can start wrapping it all around with our fluffy yarn. So now that our lace is all cool and everything on here and we have it completely covered in the fluffy yarn that's adorable. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did before and we're just gonna put hot glue down. Make sure that's right on the edge so that we don't get much of the edge showing. And just carefully lay it right on top. That is cute. Next, we are going to glue the ears onto the headband. And I'm actually putting the headband a little bit higher up on the ears. I wanna have a little bit of a gap in between the ears and I don't also want the ears to go down too far. So I think that this is a really good placement. Now what I'm going to do is put hot glue from here to here on the back side. While it's still hot, I'm just adjusting it exactly where I want it to be. Now that the pipe cleaner is kind of underneath it, we want to put some more hot glue over the top of the ear right here and fold. And that's just gonna give us a lot of stability. And now I'm just trimming off the leftovers and do the same thing on the other side. Amazing! Check it, check it, check it. Check it. To finish it off, we are going to take some of our fluffy yarn again. We're gonna glue right here. Let's glue right here. So a little bit of glue right at the tip. We're just gonna glue and wrap and glue and wrap. So for the ears part, I think that the more that you can give it a little bit more stability, the better. So I've actually put a lot of glue right here. As I'm wrapping, I'm just making sure that I'm wrapping it really tight and kind of bringing it in and make the transition from this ear to this side. All right, now that all of that is done, we have a little pink leotard and a little Ellie here. Say hi, my name's Ellie. Hi, Ellie. Okay, and we also have some little pink tights and some white shoes. I just found them at Walmart by the little girl section. They had some ballerina things and it just fit perfectly. Now is the time to put on our little tutu. Ready, step into it. Is that cute? Okay, ready? Let's put on your ears. There we go. Say, I'm cute. I'm cute. <laughs> So we're all finished. I think that putting everything together makes it look so, so adorable. I'm totally gonna have her use this at an Easter egg hunt this year. And when we do, I'll film it. I'll put it on The Beach House, which will be over here that you can watch. That's our daily video channel. Or if you wanna watch more Easter videos, you can click over here on Pins and Things. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Be sure to subscribe if you like this video. We'll see you next time. Bye. Happy Easter.